Welcome back to my Bobby King Iraqi Dinar channel. I'm your host, Bobby King, reporting from Iraq. If you're passionate about staying up to date with the latest Iraqi Dinar news and developments, you're in the right place. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and support me as we dive into today's discussion on the incredible economic achievements of Prime Minister Mohammed al Sadani. So, stay tuned as we break down what this means for Iraq's future and the broader implications for the dinar. Let's get started. Under the leadership of Prime Minister Mohammed al Sadani, Iraq has made substantial strides in economic diversification, particularly evident through the dramatic increase in non oil revenues. From 2022 to 2024, non-oil revenue in Iraq surged from 7 trillion Iraqi dinars to 27 trillion dinars. This impressive growth reflects a strategic pivot away from Iraq's historically oil-dependent economy towards a more diversified and stable economic structure. This article delves into the key factors behind this remarkable achievement, the strategic initiatives undertaken by al Sadani's administration, and the implications for Iraq's economic future. Context and background Iraq's economic landscape pre-2022 Historically, Iraq's economy has been heavily reliant on oil revenues, which have been the primary source of government income. Oil accounted for over 90% of Iraq's revenue, making the country highly vulnerable to fluctuations in global oil prices. This reliance has created challenges in economic planning and development, often leading to budgetary constraints during periods of low oil prices. The need for economic diversification recognizing the need to reduce dependency on oil, the Iraqi government has long sought to diversify its revenue streams. Economic diversification aims to stabilize the economy, reduce vulnerability to external shocks, and foster sustainable growth. However, efforts in this direction have been inconsistent and often hampered by political instability, corruption, and bureaucratic inefficiencies. Prime Minister Mohammed al Sadani's strategic vision al Sadani's economic agenda When Mohammed al Sadani assumed office in 2022, he inherited a complex economic landscape characterized by high dependence on oil revenues and a need for substantial reforms. Al Sadani's economic agenda focused on several key areas enhancing non oil revenue streams. Al Sadani aimed to boost non oil revenues by improving tax collection enhancing customs procedures, and fostering growth in non-oil sectors. Promoting investment and private sector growth, attracting both domestic and foreign investment was a critical component of al Sadani's strategy to stimulate economic growth outside the oil sector. Strengthening institutional frameworks, reforming institutions and reducing corruption were central to creating a more conducive environment for economic diversification. Leveraging digital transformation, the adoption of digital technologies in government services and revenue collection was seen as a means to enhance efficiency and transparency. Achievements in non-oil revenue growth, 2022-2024. Revenue growth statistics under al Sadani's leadership. Iraq's non-oil revenue increased from 7 trillion Iraqi dinars in 2022 to 27 trillion dinars in 2024. This 285% growth highlights the effectiveness of the administration's strategies and the country's progress towards a more diversified economy. Key Factors Driving Non-Oil Revenue Growth 1. Tax Reforms and Improvements One of the major achievements in increasing non-oil revenue was the reform of Iraq's tax system. The al Sadani administration introduced several measures to enhance tax collection. 1. Broaden Tax Base. The government expanded the tax base by including more sectors and businesses that were previously outside the tax net. 2. Improved compliance mechanisms. Enhanced tax administration systems and stricter enforcement reduced tax evasion and improved compliance rates. 3. Digital tax services. The implementation of digital platforms for tax filing and payment simplified the process and increased efficiency. 2. Customs and trade reforms Customs reforms played a significant role in boosting non-oil revenues. 1. Enhanced customs procedures. Streamlined customs procedures and reduced bureaucratic red tape facilitated smoother trade processes and increased revenue collection from import duties. 2. Anti-smuggling measures. The government strengthened measures to combat smuggling, 
which helped to increase revenue from customs duties and tariffs. 3. Investment in non-oil sectors The administration focused on stimulating growth in various non-oil sectors. 1. Agriculture and Industry Investment in agriculture and manufacturing sectors created new sources of revenue and reduced dependence on oil exports. 2. Tourism Development Efforts to develop Iraq's tourism sector aimed to generate additional revenue and promote cultural heritage. 4. Digital Transformation Digital initiatives contributed to revenue growth in several ways. 1. E-Government Services the digitization of government services improved efficiency and transparency, making it easier for businesses and individuals to comply with regulations and pay taxes. 2. Financial technology, fintech, the adoption of fintech solutions facilitated financial inclusion and streamlined transactions, enhancing revenue collection. Analysis of economic impact diversification and economic stability The significant increase in non-oil revenues under al-Sadani's administration is a clear indicator of Iraq's progress towards economic diversification. By reducing reliance on oil, Iraq has improved its economic stability and resilience to external shocks, such as fluctuations in global oil prices. Institutional and structural changes The success in non-oil revenue growth is also a testament to the effectiveness of institutional and structural reforms. 1. Institutional strengthening, improved governance and reduced corruption have created a more favorable environment for economic activities and revenue generation. 2. Policy implementation the successful implementation of economic policies and reforms reflects the government's commitment to achieving sustainable growth. Looking ahead, the al-Sadani administration's focus on diversification and institutional strengthening positions Iraq well for future economic stability and growth. Continued efforts in these areas, combined with effective policy implementation, will be essential for sustaining non-oil revenue growth and achieving long-term economic prosperity. As we wrap up, I want to encourage all my friends watching to stay positive and patient. Remember, patience is the key to success. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and show your support. Have an amazing day, and thank you for watching.